What's happening, people? The time is finally here. We are ready. We are here. Bang on midnight, ready to get this one recorded. And I tell you what, I could not be more excited as the man, the myth, the legend himself returns to releasing music on a solo level. Wizkid is back inside the building with a brand new single. This one goes by the name Bad To Me. I'm so excited. Uh, big up Viv. Uh, she reminded me that this one was dropping today. I wasn't actually sure what day this was going to be dropping, but it did drop at midnight, and I'm so excited to be reacting to it pretty much as it lands. I uh, haven't heard any of the tune yet, literally entirely new, uh, brand new Wizkid, what more could you ask for? So we are going to jump into this one, as always friends, if you're new to the channel, do make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page, turning notifications on, of course, leaving a like, leaving a comment, all that good stuff. Again, if you're new to the channel, uh, be aware this is, this is an analytical breakdown, so we're going to be breaking down the sonics of the tune, the production value, the vocal performance, all of that stuff. It's going to be a fair bit of conversation, but we're here to break it down properly, so hopefully you do enjoy it. And without further ado, let's jump into this one, let's go. Let's go Wiz! We're getting Wiz on Ammo. Okay. No, you're not Ammo. It's in that kind of realm. I way, pass it my way. This kind of body done the cost in my brain. Uh huh. I won't believe if we do I'm your way. Ah! Or if you want it. Alright you... from the jump. <laughs> I've been so excited for this. I've been looking forward to this for literally since... I've been looking forward to new solo WizKid material since Made in Lagos Deluxe, which was last November, I think, or last around that sort of time. Made in Lagos itself came out in 2020 in November of that year. Bear in mind that in mind. That's how long it's been since we've heard brand new solo WizKid material. This from the Jump Crazy. Loving the little guitar riff we're hearing. Very kind of, I don't even know if it's a guitar, but it's a plucked uh, string instrument that's very much running that lead line. You've then got a very kind of bouncy instrumental backdrop, which I wouldn't be surprised to see expand into to a more Ama piano esque sort of sound. Um, Wiz very rarely brackets himself in, though. Again, nice kind of bass line down below. This is sounding awesome so far. And Wiz just arriving with such finesse as he always does. Let's go. Yes! This is exactly what I was waiting for, man. And this this is why Wizkid is a special artist. He has seen what's going on in in this sound currently. He's seen the kind of push into a more Ama Piano influenced sound, whether that be through Fuji influence or whether that be through Ama Piano. And he has found this middle ground and he has seized on it and he has turned it into something that is so undeniably Wiz. This is exactly what he always does. The summer sort of essence flavors we're getting off this um, with those sort of chord lines that are very melancholy running throughout the middle. On top of that the bounce of the uh, of, of the kind of log drum esque bass sound below it none of it's like typical it's all slightly off kilter but it's done in such a way that Wizkid does it's so warm right from the jump Love the fact he's sneaking the little drum rolls in as well, man. This is such a cleverly designed tune. Now, again, this might sound like I'm hyping it up purely because it's Wiz. I'm not. The reason I'm so excited about it is because he's taken that formula that is working for so many artists at the moment, whether that be, um, I don't know, whether that be an Ashake, whether that be a CK, whether it be a DeVito, whether it be anyone like that um, who is really expanding and pushing the borders um, in, into a more sort of dance influence realm. This is is his take on it and it is entirely unique in the arrangement the me the melodies and stuff going on behind the the harmonics it's so beautifully structured oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is gonna spin dances Just all of the elements of this tune just make it so smoky. Like, this is such a smoky vocal line from Wiz. It sounds, it's, you know what it is? 
it's immediately normalized and not in a way that the tune is like i don't know it doesn't sound the tune doesn't sound boring it doesn't sound unfresh but there's the way that wizkid enunciates and the way that he brings his vocal line forward it makes it normalized instantaneously it becomes recognizable it feels like you already know what's going to happen not because it's predictable but because um of just the way it's structured and that's such a cool thing to be able to have. This is the tune that is going to instantaneously hit people in the dances. I cannot wait to run this in, the, in a dance myself just to see how people react to it. Yeah, break your back with it. Yeah, now me and you, they talk no one about. Baby girl, make a dog, you get my <laughs> This kind, this kind of love, yeah. I'm loving that little synth line. Yeah, that little... <laughs> There's a really cool little synthesizer sound, literally just going ba da ba 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 da ba ba. Just in the background, again, layers of texture running throughout the heart of this. The bass line's really cool as well because it is uh, the sort of pattern we're hearing is what you would expect to hear a log drum playing, but it's not that typically metallic sound. It's a little bit more shaved down at the sides. It's a little bit more kind of pulsating, a little bit more moogie um, in the actual design of the sound. The drums are so cool because they are somewhere between predictable and unpredictable like they have this really cool middle ground where there's little rhythmic switches that happen and you find yourself falling into the pattern and then the rhythm itself holds you back up if you're sitting still to this i don't know what's wrong with you to be honest with you this is a vibe I love the fact um, as well that they've incorporated this kind of middle bridge section, giving it again another typically Ama piano esque element, but it, it doesn't sound like a like a typical Ama piano tune. You know, it has that unique factor to it. That little synth line on the top is doing a lot. Uh, the constant skippiness of that bass line down below is crazy as well. I'm loving how impactful the snares are. And I've got to say, Wiz's vocal switches on this are great, switching between a much more kind of suave, laid back, kind of um, almost grisly vocal tone to the more sort of typically electronic and higher ended vocal that we hear from him um, across the entirety of Made in Lagos. You can see the direction he's going with this and it is literally just like... What I would describe this as is this is if you've heard um, J Huss Common Sense and then J Huss Big Conspiracy, this sounds like that transition where you've had a classic album and then you need to somehow make another classic album. And this sounds like that sort of transition to me anyway, as, as, as a listener of both. Only you know how to do me That call and respond is so cool to hear because again it draws you in as a listener it pulls you in towards the end of the tune i am so happy that this slaps as much as it does man and you know what i cannot wait to see the other reactors react to this big up um i see phoenix big up just vibes big up um banks big up uh ghouls reactions as well big up palm wine pappy big up all of the everyone doing reactions to this sort of sound right now because um everyone is killing it and seeing the kind of growth is amazing and i know everyone's a massive whiz fan so seeing how they're going to react to this is making me so excited that's what i'm getting excited about now seeing how people are going to react <laughs> There we go then. The sounds of Wizkid. Don't give me epic value, William Hill. I want Wizkid back. Uh, what a tune this one is. Incredible stuff. Uh, bad to me. Incredible stuff from Wizkid. Wow. Um, I'm blown away by how good it actually is. You know when you wait and wait and wait for something and then it kind of disappoints to an extent? I don't think this is a tune that does that. I think this as, a, as an overall creation... Um, it does exactly what it needs to do. It's the definition of Wizkid at its best, to be honest with you. It's him kind of taking different elements, different styles from already popular sounds, but morphing them slightly and adding his vocal texture, which is one of the most unique out there. Um, I love the kind of Amma Piano-esque elements on this, the kind of switch-ups, those snare rolls, the bass lines down below. I also love the fact that this one just has that classic Wizkid energy. As I said before, it feels like the transition point between two albums in a good way. Um, and I'm so excited to see how people react to this one. So as always, my friends, let me know how you're feeling about this one in the comment section down below hopefully we are going to be able to get this one up on the uh, evening it's released so you'll be able to check it out in the morning or tonight if you're staying 
up to watch a reaction, which I know a fair few of you do. Big up you guys each and every time. Also, we are now hurtling towards 44,000 subscribers on the channel. So if you are new, make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page. The last week has been the uh, busiest the channel has ever been. The last 20, the last 28 days, um, we recently went past 300,000 monthly listens, which is crazy. I can't believe I'm even saying that, to be honest with you. Big up each and every one of you for being involved in that journey. And I cannot wait to see what you're all saying about this one. So please do let me know. That's it from me, though. And we shall see you all next time. Have a fantastic rest of your evening and peace. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cup Camp TV. Stay locked.